All right, doing some uh, sync today. We're a little bit above 5k MMR, so hopefully it'll be at least a little less greedy than sync normally is. Though spoiler alert, it won't be. <laughs> Still be like pretty greedy. Um, I mean, honestly, I could do Icarus. Uh, because of that, Sinbad as well. Sinbad might be better, actually. I think I will do Sinbad. I think Sinbad for Sync is pretty top tier. Icarus can be. Unless the lobby randomly decides to actually play tempo. But with Sinbad, I at least, if they decide to go tempo, I'm not that screwed. Because at least it's not a sync tempo. If you know what I mean. Alright, we got the three best two drops here. So, probably just start with this. Then we'll have that. Maybe I should have started with the Sleeping Cat, though, honestly. Um, that gives me two damage instead of one, so I could kill Angel Cat. But, uh, eh, it is what it is. Yeah, in hindsight, because I'm probably going to buy that before the Sword Squire. I don't know, though. I'm surprised he didn't just immediately upgrade that. Maybe he has another L in the shop. I wouldn't mind getting a 2 cost to Sinbad. So obviously we do this. Then the question is... Eh, that thing might be pretty big. I think we still benefit more from just taking this. It's not going to get above 7 health, most likely. But it could. If it does, so be it. I think I just do this. But yeah, in, in hindsight, I did misplay there a little bit. See, there, I, uh, I think I, I didn't pay exactly attention, but... I'm pretty sure what I did there just saved my life. Do this, just so the back unit has something. I would lock this. Like I said, I don't really need to be that greedy with Sinbad. Um, eventually I'll replace the two trash cost treasure anyway, but doubling any of the powerful two cost treasures would be pretty good. Like. I could get six food per purchase, for example. Either way, I've got a cat with an upgraded sword squire, which is going to be strong. I could just skip the treasure if it sucks. And I got a free roll, so it's not like I'm... That's why we put the food back there, by the way. Had I not done that, then we don't win. Alright, what do we get? Okay, these are definitely not good ones to double, I would say. Uh, this is, like, pretty bad. We could just skip here. Most likely I skip. And I do have some good characters, but, yeah. It's not worth my sin bed. I was like, is this worth locking? It, it is a puck. This probably wasn't worth locking. I was running out of time, though. Ah, brutal. Well, I can't predict they're going to cast that. We win anyway, though. Alright, well, I take that. Mm, Kappa's technically takeable, because there's a bug that I can actually put it here. And actually, I think I will do that. Eh, they do have a parrot, though. You know what, though? I'm gonna do it anyway. If he dies, he dies. There's not much else I can do this turn. Do I lock a new U? Maybe. If Kappa... Kappa could be an okay target, even if it, gain, if, if it, even if it doesn't gain any stats. If it doesn't gain any stats, I probably want a new U it anyway. Rest of the shop kind of sucks, so... Um, I probably don't. So technically, if this thing dies, Kappa should gain stats unless that bug's been fixed. Now, we might just get parroted and it won't matter, but we'll see. 
And if the parrot hit, no matter what the parrot hit, if the parrot hits the owl, it's pretty good for me. Then I get a cap of proc, nothing important dies. Oh, they just don't use the parrot, it looks like. But even better for us. See, look at that, Kappa. Kappa just gained two stats there. So a little tech, if you didn't know. Pretty late to go puff. The rest of the shop. I could do pirate gunner since clearly we can see there's not that strong a tempo, even at 5k sync. And some of them are, that that's pretty good tempo, but yeah, a lot of just a lot of greediness. Um and that vein, maybe I just take the late puff, I don't know. I don't think so though. I think I'm just gonna play it as if it's sync. I suppose we could do this. Um I don't know. I could, if I if I if anything I should Yeah. Okay. This is awkward. Couldn't really make a good move there, I don't think. Looks like we'll win anyway. <clears throat> Alright, well, that's a pretty clear direction. Um, I could take this as well. We definitely have cat stuff going on. I, mean, I, got, the, I got the kappa, I got this. This isn't really cats, but it could be. At least, like, I mean, it it adds me three range damage on top of ten damage. I don't think I can find much better than that. Of course, I do bench an eight eight for that. What does this guy have? I would say against this stuff, that should be pretty good, though. We'll do that. We want to try to get some uh, four cost treasures anyway, so I need to start picking up fours. I don't think it's worth my health just to re-roll one here. If anything, it puts this thing out of range of Blizzard anyway, so it's... I think the moth is okay here. Yeah, they got that. Died last, of course. Oh well, what are you gonna do? <clears throat> you got th two resummoners to the right of it, but sure. You really do want to try to. Eh. I can triple this. It's not an amazing play. Still not worth it. Would love to find a cat box, I suppose. Or just another cat's fine. I do want that as well. There's a star girl. Kind of have a problem right now. There's just too many things that I want to do. Um, I'm pretty sure the funny cat at a 2 is not better than this right now. To field. Hopefully the parrot runs into Kappa, but it'd be okay to run into Moth as well. The worst would be if it hits Sword Squire, but what am I going to do, you know? So, cats are definitely the most consistent thing right now, so I'm, I'm not going to lean more into stars. There's obviously the hybrid build. Eh, of course, I get the worst out of the three. That's been part of the fucking course uh, lately for me. <clears throat> At least we cracked his eggs for the next opponent. Guess he has one left still. 
I just don't think the new you helps me when I'm very specific in what I need right now. Okay, that's really good. We can get it four. Hopefully it's a good one. Uh, spoiler alert, not really for my build, but I suppose Odin's Ravens is acceptable. I'm probably not going to lean into mages, even with it, but it'll make me... Okay, why is this not zero? Shouldn't that be zero? Am I missing something here? Or is that a three cost normally? I don't know. I thought it's a two cost normally, but maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. I, I, I could still take like this, I guess. Since we do have that. Ooh, I do want that. I have the owl as well. Here, let's go like this. I don't really want to cast that. Can I cast one spell at least? Fuck. I don't know. <laughs> We're probably not going to lose, but I'm like... It's... Okay, it did work there, though. That normally costs three... Doesn't that normally cost two? I'm going to... I'm going to pay attention. I'm going to submit a bug if it doesn't work. Gosh. Well, I guess it's better that it didn't kill the squire, but... Alright, we gotta kill at least. Okay, it is working there, because this costs... I know for a fact that costs three normally. Now, Haymaker I could take, um, and then I'm not super locked into cats. I don't mind that. What are people running? Soup, slay, maybe. I mean, who am I going to fight? Probably that person. That person just... That'd be so easy to just take a tailor against that. Hunter. Uh, Cats is not great against everything here, so I will take this. There we go. Let's go like that. Hmm. Should still take that though, right? I could sell, 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 sell. Just for tempo right now. And it still opens me up to cats. Like, let's say I hit six and I see an immediate cat queen, then I'll just still go cats. Cats is not a horrible thing to be fronting in front of a uh, milk woman anyway. I probably should have put the 1-1 one, one on this, just so it has one health. I'll try to remedy that mistake in the future. In my mind, I was like for sure going farmers, but I guess that's not necessarily the case. So far, our double value on Odin's Ravens has been pretty shitty. <laughs> I probably would have been better off just taking a two cost, honestly. That's why I'm like often wondering if it's really worth it to be that greedy with your treasures, you know. Turn an evil character... Or turn a character evil. We don't want to do that on anything that's already... We just want to cast onto something that's already evil, essentially. So... That... Or neutral. I don't know that I buy another duelist though. Like, like I said, slay typically if they are gonna go slay, which they don't necessarily look like they are. But hunter, fluff, these things typically beat cats if they're allowed to do things, which it does look like they are allowed to. This guy might go slay. Like, it just doesn't look very f as strong as cats are. I, I don't think they're what I want to do here. See, now I can turn this good, and it could stay for my eventual uh, board. I have this now. now. Now that he's at five, I don't care. I'm going to start buffing him up again, or her up again. Okay. Okay, I just want to find haymakers and milkwomans. I could have maybe took the uh, the thing there, but nah. 
Oh, right, this person. We should be looking for a tailor. Forgot about that. <laughs> I didn't check who I was fighting. Well, we probably can't find it, but that's okay. Let's just go ahead to the next level. I know I'm not getting my Odin's Ravens, but again, Odin Raven really isn't doing much for me. So, whatever. We at least have one Haymaker and the Milk Woman. Uh, like I said, we could just pivot to cats if... Uh, if Aura Cat shows up reasonably fast. Otherwise, there's so many sixes for the farmer build that I can just start picking up sixes. I would have put the tailor in the bottom left. I might not need it here. I actually have a lot of stats. Yeah, we beat him. Nice. Okay, no sixes. Pretty standard. No sixes. Pretty standard. Should I take a catnip in the bottle? Nah, I didn't rush ahead. Okay, I will take this. I was gonna say, I didn't rush ahead to, uh... Hmm. Here, why don't we go like... this. Kappa could go up here, I guess. Yeah, I was gonna say I didn't rush ahead to just take a 5 cost, but if a Haymaker I will make an exception for because it's very important. You know, I don't know that I have enough food. The Phoenix, as I said, is not the ideal unit, but I have 6 gold left. Maybe we just take it. The Kappa is not really going to outperform it here, I don't think. So this is going to have 12-12, or 12... Uh, 12, 8. Wait, what is it? 12, 10. 14, 10. 14, 10 given to this. Then it revives with an extra 50% stats. That's going to be better than a 26, 26 for sure. I guess we just... We, we could do this, though. It does limit my cat value, but I think we're committing away from cats here. The problem is I know my RNG... And I just go games where Laura Cat never shows up, and then I get... Cats are still strong enough that you still do all right, but at least now I've, you know, five different six costs I can find, and yeah. Just really gives me a bigger spread of avoiding low rolls. Yeah, I think we're moving away from the cat stuff here. This is this is potentially not better than this, given that we're just trying to lean into these uh, phoenixes here, I guess. Corgi's takeable. I could take this with this. You know, we could if I don't get enough food. It is six cost. Could do a hybrid mage, mage build though, where I just stat these phoenixes up normally. That way I'm a little more resistant to like fire mage, especially if I don't find book or if I don't find chair. Thirty-eight health. Just sink things. Unfortunately, not a dying breath on Phoenix. One of the many downsides of the unit. Uh, it's certainly of the sixes I could find. It's by far the the lowest of them. But like I said, this is just how my RNG's been lately, which is to say, objectively fucking shitty. At least I'm not losing though. Alright, can I get some useful fucking shit here, for fuck's sake? So far, no. I'm glad I bought this. 
<laughs> that it gives me cat queen. Yeah, a little late for that, bud. Okay, that we definitely want. Unfortunately, we only have the one booster right now. So buying it is not, like, amazing. I... Oh, I could get the second booster, though. What am I saying? Okay, we'll go... Like this. I think I would lock this. I don't know. Is that really worth it? We want this to get stats now, I think. Should I move everything over? I think so. Because we want these, they're going to be unyielding. If he has some flying bullshit or a fire mage. And this is, by the way, I think why... You know, people say Slay is strong, and I'm like, well, I guess maybe in Sync it is. Because <laughs> look how weak this board is, and this dude has... 31 health. He hasn't taken a bit of damage. Um, that would never happen in async. You know what I mean? And that's another one of my complaints where I say it's bullshit that at high MMR async I'm facing boards often that simply were not... Oh, that's... And, and, and you know what just happened there? So it killed both my boosters before that could go off. It's just disgusting because that literally just happened to me in another game. And it's, it's not like a... I, I, I'm just gonna... I, I know I'm sounding like a complainer here, but I'm just telling you how I feel. I feel like I have objectively the worst luck in this game out of anybody. I'm just gonna say that. And I hold it... You know, I don't care if anyone wants to say that that's not true. Because I know it's true. I live my... I live my life here. I'm the one living it here. And I know what fucking happens to me. And what fucking happens to me is fucking bullshit. Over and over and over again. But whatever. We still tie. Whatever. Um, let's hopefully get another unit here. I want to get a usable unit. I'm not going to spend five on the one one. For one more gold, I get double the value, right? Uh, let's see. Do I cast that because it costs gold? I don't think so. I think we're... We want to get another six cost if we can. I could take that, but I don't care too much about the not gaining of health. Okay. I guess we take this. The shitty thing here is these phoenixes definitely lose some value, but uh, this is just better than the phoenix anyway. So I guess we run it like that. I don't know. I need to cast my shit here. Alright, uh, I mean, I guess I didn't need to do that against the ghost, but time was run out. I have 39 health. Good thing I didn't run into that, but it wouldn't have mattered, because, yeah, we're just way never losing that fight. Although I should never say never. Okay, they do have... I, I do probably need to get a, uh... I need definitely need to get a chair. So that needs to be high on the list. Uh, I should have cast that spell, whoops. Hey, there's chair. Okay, we can drop you... Well, might as well drop that, right? Okay, keep going here. I do need a Merlin soon. This is like a shitty Merlin. I don't think I'll take it. Okay, good boy, we definitely take. I think it still goes in over that. And actually, now we, we want to stat that up. Um, okay, there's another booster. Okay, <laughs> bye bye, Phoenixes, I guess.
I, I guess we don't need that. I'll keep the Phoenix, I would like to triple it if possible, but... I guess we just go like that. I mean, I could go like that. It's not the end of the world if this dies. And if it doesn't die... Here, why don't we go like this then? That probably makes sense, right? If this dies, whatever. Otherwise, this is still protected and it still gives a bunch of stats there. This guy doesn't have the Fire Mage, but we're just getting ready for something like that. I'm going to still put the good boy first. It'll still get a little bit of stats. Notice where those uh, apples went, but sure, cool. Like I said, still hold to it. I have the worst luck in this game, but okay. <clears throat> Are we fighting? No fire mage. We can go back to this. Um, I think I like it like that. Yeah. That actually is like pretty high stats. I guess, I will say this combo is pretty good now <laughs> uh, that I got all this shit going. All right, that's pretty good. Get a five cost here. Definitely that one. Easily that one. Right, you'll go in now until further notice. Certainly one way to get food. We still need to get that hunter though. Oh, okay. Uh, let's do this just in case I have to replace one of these. I would replace one of them, probably the uh, double caster then, because I still want my free spells. But yeah, double entrance we're definitely taking. I don't think I'll take a second back protector, one is good enough. So we definitely do want to find Flounder, though. Fisherman and Flounder, because we're throwing away a ton of food right now. Um, I don't even... I probably don't even run it, honestly, even with the double entrance. It would replace Phoenix, if anything, but the Phoenix is upgraded. It probably replaces Phoenix. That's probably what happens. I think I don't gain that much from Phoenix right now. Compared to Flounder on the board, especially with double entrance. But it's not uncommon for me to take a flounder and just bench it. I'm like only taking it for the uh, food retention on my boosters in most cases. See, I told you this would be better than cats, because those hunter things would just farm cats, you know. But, uh, yeah, we're doing alright now. <clears throat> Alright, this is our... Um, uh, probably like that? I don't know. I think this is still better than like doing that. But yeah, we definitely are going to run the... Uh, the back protector to protect these. I mean, maybe I don't need to protect this one. I don't know. Hmm. All right. Change of plans. Now we're going like that. I don't know if I take that. I think I do. Damn it. Alright. <laughs> I wanted to cast, but yeah, sure. I'll definitely upgrade that. <clears throat> Probably should have put the King Arthur in over the good boy, but I don't know. We'll see. Still got some bullshit that could happen here. 
Mm, nice random spells. Still holding my earlier comment. Dude got fucking volcano and double fucking, uh, whatchamacallit, so, sure. These are not worth it. We'll re-roll them. We want to get double boost or double aura. Especially if I'm going to replace the uh, doubled Odin's Ravens. When I've got the two books right now. Don't care about Narcissus. Uh, we don't have to run that. I would replace this with another Merlin, so that's why I'm not like stacking anything on that. Cat uh, cabinet is not like super out of the question to run. This is just better than the upgraded Phoenix, to be honest. Even at the low stats, it may just get hit by the other thing, so. Okay, we'll take that, because I would like to. I could run one upgraded Merlin and two upgraded of these, and that's fine. Still no fisherman in flounder after all this time, even with the uh, hull's gold, but okay. I know I've been buying a lot of stuff, so, but, I don't know. Just annoying that we haven't found that. <clears throat> like, our scaling is severely uh, gimped because of it, but I guess it's offset because we do have the Odin's Raven scaling the units we care about, so that's nice. should beat this pretty handily. Alright. <clears throat> Currently not representing any flying stuff. Uh, we should definitely cast a earthquake if we see it. I don't know that picking up one of them is super worth just to get some extra food retention. It probably is not. Okay, we finally got this fucker. Uh, I don't think it goes on the board. However, um, it will go on the bench for sure. Love to find an earthquake or thing. That's a good item, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna hold for it. We really do want to get one of those spells if we can. All right, flounder might come in then. I guess I guess I could lock for that spell too. Uh, actually, I, don't, I still don't know if flounder goes in. The thing is, like, there's not that much actual food on most of the units. It would only be, like... Yeah, I'm pretty sure we just leave it as is right now. Maybe it replaces this Milk Woman. I'm probably not winning this fight. Because I couldn't find a spell to beat those uh, things. I don't know. I'd rather just scale my food here. course gets polymorph on the fucking Merlin. <clears throat> Alright, there we go. Bye bye Odin's Ravens, it was nice knowing you. Then I won't buy that now. Uh, I could bottled lightning and then I'm getting... yeah, we'll do that. The gold would be nice, but now I have triples and all these sixes. Look at all those stats, like, yeah, come on. you telling me that ain't the best thing to do? That's definitely the best thing to do. Hmm. 
just keep that good boy up there and hope that the spells don't fuck it over. That's about all I can do. Yeah, I don't think running a second back protector makes any sense here. I could run this against the uh, Slay player too, maybe. Like it would just prevent Slays and maybe I can kill the thing, I don't know. Doubling the boost isn't really what I need. Damn, yeah. Not enough time to do shit. I'm gonna hold that spell. I don't think I'll run into this guy again. But I'm debating just... Hold. I, I didn't want to cast it. <laughs> oh boy. Like I said, this hap it's just like, look at the random spells they get. Meanwhile, like, I will get, like, my random spells just give me, uh, whatever, dude. Like, I don't need to convince you of what I know to be true. Question is, do I, do I just hold this and hold 10 gold? I don't think so. It's probably not worth me casting. Okay, that... Could be worth... Definitely worth it into that. But... It's an awkward sell right now. Uh, I don't need to be running that into this. I could actually just run that, just in case I triple this. I mean, I'm obviously going to win here, so I might as well just get some extra food on hardworking Milk Woman. Let's just keep looking for some triples here. <sighs> it really wants me to take that, huh? Well, okay, never mind. <laughs> I guess I just triple it now. Obviously, we skip that. Hmm. Celery tea... The, if they're smart, they're going to put that uh, dude in the first slot. So I think I will lock the Celery T, and then I can lock the... Uh, then I can lock the spells as well. So yeah, we'll do that. <clears throat> Give me a good chance to find a... Uh, so, so here's the plan. I'm going to put Celery T slot 1. Not give it that many stats, just because... If they're paying attention, that slay dude should put his his thing in slot one there. Yeah, so if they're paying attention, they're going to put that... S yeah, they're, they're moving it around, so clearly they are paying attention. So what we're going to do is this... And um, try to beat the hmm. could sell these and do an upgrade on the Merlin, which with the double aura. Seems decent. We could definitely just kill this guy now. I, th I think we do that. The other option is polymorph. I don't trust my polymorphs. Like, mine don't ever hit fucking anything useful. Alright, so we sell. Sell. Triple that. We'll just have that on the bench, I guess. You don't have any flying, right? 
Okay. <clears throat> Putting this there just because it is unyielding. And the other option is I could put a... Well, too late. I could put the chair there, but... Or I could have just kept a good boy there. I don't know. Let's see. Like we outplayed him pretty good there. <clears throat> bye bye. Okay. Now we switch it back. We want that there. That there. He just has to get lucky on his spells now to beat me. There's no way he beats me stat-wise. No possible way. No way in motherfuck can he do that. I think I moved that back there. I don't know. How much do I want to double up on that unit? He's already powerful enough at that stat. I think I, I, think I go like this. That way, if he polymorphs that, at least this still gets a ton of value. I think that makes sense. Uh, to... He has 30 health, so I don't think we run this. I think we want to keep gaining health. Um, yeah. Then we just want to find maybe a polymorph spell. Uh, take that. What are my permanent stats here? Is it worth doing this? There's not much more for me to do, honestly. I don't have any units left to triple other than the uh, this dude. So, like, this could be usable. What are your permanents? Permanent is 133, 149. Let's go... Let's go here, actually. Don't think I'll lock that. Okay, I'll lock the extra spells. Incredible spell again. <clears throat> All right. Just got to weather the RNG storm here. Definitely not changing my hero. These all suck. I mean, S Volcano could kill four of the targets, but not worth my entire turn there of spell casting. Okay, we'll take the second one of that. Don't need any of that. Don't need any of that. Really don't need any of these, honestly. Could have maybe took that haymaker that I saw. Didn't think so though. Health, maybe. Maybe I should have cast the six health on that. Honestly, would not have been a horrible idea. If I see it again, I will. Because again, the only way we lose at this point is bullshit RNG, and then like getting hit for twenty damage or something. Supply cabinet could work. Just trying to think. It doesn't really. It's not better than these, though. I wouldn't mind replacing this. Just given what he has, like... It's so easy to counter it. I mean, all he needs to do is find a mirror. Uh, or just his random spells can polymorph it. Or... Or a rotten apple it. Like, it's not that unlikely, to be honest. In fact, for me, as the target, it's pretty damn likely. Pretty damn likely. Okay, he's just like... <laughs> At least it polymorphs the worst target, so... I think we'll get some good damage in here. Alright, just one more of those. Yeah, I don't need that 
at this point. We just got to finish them out. All right, triple that. And I think we put that in for Haymaker. I could re-roll this just in case, or I could skip it. Skip it, I think. We gotta finish this out. So we're gonna put you in now. Still gonna put you over there, just kinda of makes sense. The only I could put it in the slot one, I guess, but I don't think so. <clears throat> this is gonna give us the most stats. Don't need that. So we're like allergic to finding polymorph. I'm not gonna take three health for five there. Starlight strike maybe. Don't think so though. I mean this dude just keeps casting uh that spell so he can have it. Like that's fine. All right, finally found Polymorph. I will lock it. Looks so like I said, there's certainly just I could just get Polymorph left and right here and lose, I suppose. Right, he did get a Polymorph, and he got one of the best targets, second second best target. Luckily, he's not getting good spells on his random shit there, though. Finally. Alright. <clears throat> we weathered the RNG storm and got it done. Sinbad definitely top tier in sync, I would say. Maybe, dare I say, maybe the best hero for sync is Sinbad. And I'll, you know, I was definitely fortunate to eventually get some good treasures there. Uh... Yeah, I mean, you see how greedy you can be, though, right? Even at 5k, you know, even above 5k, this is so night and day different than async. I mean, how can you deny it? <clears throat> anyway, though, as always, thanks for watching, and until next time, peace.